just realized while I was remote starting the car, I realized the turn signal's on. So let's start by turning that off. Good morning, OG family. And I'm really, really sorry that I haven't made a video in about, like, I think the last I looked on YouTube was like 36 days or something like that. So we're here with the Land Cruiser. Um, I'm going to kind of go over a few things that I had in mind about doing to the Land Cruiser because it is winter time. The GTR is still down. I will update you guys on that when I get a chance to do so when I find out what's going on with it. But in the meantime, I just wanted to show you some things here that I found out with the Land Cruiser since I got it. So the remote start obviously is working now. The last time I made a video, it I think it was working, but it gave me an issue because I kicked the wire from underneath the dash um, and it didn't work. But I didn't realize what this was. So it looks like a it looked like a choke um, on a a bike or a lawnmower or whatever it is. So I was never touching it and I never kind of researched what it was doing. So therefore, I realized that it is to raise the idle during idle. Uh, I mean, to raise the idle when you have the car just you know idling because apparently diesels are not supposed to idle like that. It's not good for them. So therefore kind of pull the lever, you turn it, mine kind of, I got to, I got to pull the dash apart, it stays sometimes and sometimes it backs off, so it's backing off, If you, you can see the RPM going down, you can hear it too, so I, it's, I don't know what it is, I think it's the, it's the nut behind it, there we go, so it's a hit or miss, but I think that's pretty, you know, I never knew what it was, and I think that's pretty cool. I didn't make a video doing my oil change and fuel filter and oil filter change on the Land Cruiser the last time I did it. So I might do it on the next one just to show you guys the capacity and where everything is located. So I just have the oil loaded up in the old Amsoil quartz, and I'm gonna take that to the store and drop it off and we'll continue the video. I listen to all types of music, but when I listen to Going Bad, this reminds me of the Land Cruiser. I got more slaps than the Beatles. Everything runs on diesel, dog. The UPS guy came. I kind of like this box, not gonna lie. Um, but Amazon is always known for tossing small packages in a ginormous box. So I got a replacement collar strap for my dog because he decided to chew it a while ago and it finally broke. But it literally came in this ginormous box. Anybody else have that issue? Because I mean, it's not really an issue, but like, wouldn't you want to just put it in a smaller box? I seriously love this truck, cruiser, whatever you guys want to call it, but this thing is absolutely awesome. All right. Drop the oil off at Auto's Tune. Let's go do that real quick and uh, we'll continue with our journey for the day. I loaded all the oil but I still have my canisters and my filters. So, being that the, this was the first time I came here, they said it's only four quarts. So I unloaded 10 quarts for the first time here, but usually I guess the maximum amount per customer is only four quarts. So that's pretty annoying, but I guess they said with the high amount of customers that come through here to dump oil, they can only limit it four per customer. So we're gonna go to Napa and try to unload these filters and uh, continue. Sometimes it wants to work, and sometimes it doesn't. I guess that's the you know thing about owning a 27-year-old vehicle. Everything else, though, so far so good. Let's go into Napa and see if they take our filters. Napa won't take my filters either, so that leaves me with very few options here. Um, I was going to go try Advance, but I'm not even going to try because AutoZone wouldn't take it. They won't take it, so I'm probably just gonna, I don't know. I'm probably gonna figure out a way to do this. Um, or I just might have somebody I know that works at a place, um, like an auto shop or something, crush them for me because I'm not just gonna throw them out like some people would and try to get away with that because that's not gonna happen. So we'll try to figure out what to do with that. Um, but let's continue on with the rest of our afternoon. All right guys, so we're out at the spot that I wanted to come to, but right now it's extremely windy. Um, we're by the water and the audio is gonna come out crappy. So therefore we're gonna stay in the Land Cruiser and just record the video. 
Um, before I go any further, this is going to be more um, catered toward the Land Cruiser um, because I do not have any GTR content for you guys and I don't have any updates on it as far as what's going on with that car. Um, we haven't taken it apart. It is winter. I won't be driving it, so therefore I'm not in a rush to get it back together in one piece and kind of, you know, rush the job that shouldn't be rushed. So, Land Cruiser. Um, I have a few things that I want to do to this car. Truck, cruiser, whatever you guys want to call it. It seems that a lot of people call it different things. Um, I call it cruiser, truck. It doesn't matter. So, what I want to do to the cruiser in the long term is some mild overland mods, okay? So I've seen some things online, uh, I want to do it myself, I do not want to buy something that's already made to be put in here. So therefore, number one would be I want to do a drawer slash shelf in the rear of the cruiser. So now there's two ways to do this. I can leave the rear seats or I can take the rear seats out. I'm not sure which I want to do yet, but I know I want to build uh, two drawers that pull out um, and then have kind of like felt on top of it and then also put like some sort of pillow top or futon on top of there as well. Um, I know in summertime I'm going to end up taking this to like drive-in theaters and stuff like that. Uh, I do want to do some mild camping with it as well, but I don't know, you know, what will happen in the future. But that's number one. Number two, um, there's a lot of preventative maintenance things that need to be done on this as well. Uh, the car's running immaculate though. I did an oil change uh, using AMS oil. Thank you Ram Beast Projects uh, for providing that for me. <coughs> I did a fuel filter. Both oil and fuel filters are OEM. I prefer to use OEM, especially on something like this with its age. Um, and there are something called big end bearings, okay? Those are known to cause engine failures with the 1HDT, which is in the Land Cruiser. Um, so those are going to need to be changed because I'm not 100% sure when they were done. Um, I apologize. My phone ended up ringing and going bananas. So back to the topic of big end bearings. Um, I have those on order. I got new OEM bolts for those as well. So those are going to get replaced here. Um, I want to do that at some point uh, here soon because I don't daily drive this vehicle, but... I do drive it enough where, you know, I'm hesitant to keep driving it because I want to get that done. Like, there's things that I like to do, especially preventative stuff, that will hopefully extend the life of this engine. So, the big end bearings is definitely number one. Number two, I would love to rebuild the front axle. That is another thing. And then on top of the front axle, they make the 100 series brakes, of course. Um, that's a step up from this Land Cruiser, uh, which bolt right onto this car. So I will eventually want to do that as well. Um, the brakes on this thing are not terrible, but what some people think is that they really suck. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But I want to get those definitely put on here because I would love to eventually, in the long run, is my final goal is to tow the GTR with this Land Cruiser. So that is my ultimate goal and to do that I obviously want to make sure that this will stop with a 5,000 pound setup on the back of it because I think the diesel should have no problem pulling it it's just that a lot of people forget that when you're towing stopping is most important because number one you don't want to go off the road number two you don't want to potentially hurt somebody else and people tend to forget that and don't realize that that's actually really important so that's another thing I'd like to do to this um, as far as like cosmetics and the way this thing looks, I love it the way it looks. Um, I've, of course, I spoke about this numerous times and uh, paint protection is something I would love to get on this thing, but that also is not cheap. So once I get that on here, I'll be able to go to Roush Creek and places around here that have off-roading. And fortunately in Pennsylvania, Roush Creek is really the only place you can go. So. Before I even visit that place, I want to get this car protected. I sometimes think about saying just screw it and just go scratch the hell out of the car, but the paint is fresh and it looks really good when it's clean. Um, and if I can protect it any sort of way, that's the way I want to do it. So therefore, that's another thing that I want to get done is paint protection. Um, the car has like no rust on it, so that's really good. <coughs> I want to get it undercoated at some point. 
um, to keep it that way because once rust starts, it's hard to stop it. And it's like a cancer, it just spreads, 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 and then your frame is shot. So this car is very clean. Um, it is 27 years old, so it'll have its little things here and there that need replaced, like moldings and the AC vents and little plastic things here and there. It's just bound to happen, but that's what you get when you want to own something, you know, that's, you know, 25 plus years old, but it's what I like. I'm a 90s kid, and this was the stuff I liked back when I was a kid. So therefore, big end bearings, um, clear bra protection throughout the whole vehicle, um, the drawers in the back, and a, like, pillow top slash, you know, futon on the top of that. Uh, I think I've covered everything. Uh, well, another thing is the sunroof. I need to make sure the drains are cleared for when it rains and snows. Um, so that's another common thing that these things have is that the sunroof start to leak. I thought about just stealing it up so I don't have any problems with it, but I kind of like it because I do open it when it's nice out and I want to keep that option there. So if you guys got anything that you'd like to see on the Land Cruiser, definitely drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you'd like to see. Um, because I know I like to see, or I want to see, a lot of things with this car and progress throughout the time uh, of me owning it. And I can tell you this right now that this is not going to go anywhere. Um, I plan on keeping this for quite some time because I do love it. I love driving it. It just feels awesome. The turbo diesel is like a big plus um, over the gasser. Uh, and I love Japanese cars. So therefore, Toyota um, is definitely a win in my book for the Land Cruiser. And... Their, it seems like their customer service for anything is really good and they did right by that guy in California that was pulling people out from the fires um, which was insane uh, that was also awesome and really again I apologize there's some girl driving a pickup truck decided to just come piling through causing a mess and then do a burnout on the dirt and just take off and that's why we can't have nice things because of people like that that just decide to ruin it for everybody else so um, again back to what I was saying drop a comment down below let me know what you guys would like to see with the Land Cruiser um, I will provide at some point an update for the GTR I do not have that at the moment so that is out of the question right now John has been busy um, he's got family things going on as well so you know family first always and the holidays are right here they've been around the corner people have been busy doing stuff i've been extremely busy with work um as much as i love to make youtube video youtube videos um i just don't have the time to so i'm trying to find time in my day now that i'm on night shift to kind of make one before i go to work and then kind of edit it the next day and provide some content for you guys but in 2019 i'm gonna try to give you guys some more content because I love making videos, I love talking to you guys, I love hearing from you guys and then responding to your comments on you know what you guys would like to see, what you guys think so far, and all of that. So therefore, thank you very much for sticking around, thank you for subscribing to the channel, and if you're not following me on Instagram, it is the OGZilla, same username. Uh, follow me on there. You can DM me if you got any questions. Um, I kind of use that a little bit more because it's on the go. Obviously, I can't be uploading you know, videos and editing them and all that on my phone. Probably could, but it would take a really long time to do so. So make sure you follow me on that. And also on Facebook, the OGZilla. So that's pretty much all for this upload, guys. I kind of want to just give you a summary of what is to potentially come for the Land Cruiser. Um, I really do love this thing. Like I said, it's not going anywhere. And... Hopefully, we'll start those minor slash major mods here shortly. Um, I definitely want to get the big end bearings. That's my first and foremost. So hopefully, we'll get that done here soon. Uh, the weather is cooperating, so I'm going to try to figure something out. But again, like, share, subscribe, guys. Uh, I hope you're happy to hear from me. So it's been quite some time. Again, I apologize. Uh, I'm hoping to try to make a video once a week. Um, and provide you guys some updates and some content here. So just bear with me. I completely, I am seriously apologetic and like I hate leaving you guys without any content. And she just came through here again. I don't understand what she's getting out of this, but okay. Um, again, I apologize. Uh, hopefully want to provide some more stuff for you guys. And again, like, 
share, subscribe, and you guys have a great day. And again, if I don't see you guys or talk to you guys before Christmas, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and have a Happy New Year.